Hey, hey, hey. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Thinking of starting a new tradition. I don't know uh, if we've got one for Thursday yet. I'm still pretty new to this, but if we do, I'm thinking on Thursdays, it should be Double Fist Thursday. And with that in mind, I'm going to get started one day early because I had what's defined as an extremely shitty day at work. So, this is actually, I have no fucking idea. I have no idea what this is. Now, I'm pretty sure that it's an IPA. Now, as to which IPA, I don't know. It's, I've, I used, um, I made some apple wine in the summer. And this is definitely too, I put them in bottles like this, but it's too dark. And you go, well, there's an easy solution. Just label them. Well, it's a day late and a dollar short, as my dad used to say. So, this is either an everyday IPA, which I did a review of. I can't remember if I posted that one or not. Or it's my peach IPA, which I've actually had people uh, ask for orders of. It's the only beer I can ever think of where someone actually said, I want to buy it. So, I'm hoping that's what it is. And I'm hoping... That it's not overcarbonated because it's been in this bottle for a very long time. So we're all going to find out right now if this is a disaster or not. So fingers crossed. Oh, definitely carbonated, as you heard. You can see a little bit coming up right now. All right. I think it's all right. Let's see what we got going here. Well, we definitely have a bad pour on my part. That is a fact. Wow, that is a really bad pour. I would not make it in bartender school. That's for sure. I think it's the peach. You can definitely smell the peach. Oh, that is really good. That is really freaking good. So while uh, that's cooling down, why don't we get um, why don't we get that next beer going? Check out my glass. Pretty nice. My mom uh, my mom made those for me. Not too shabby. Well, she said she made them for me, but I got the idea that she probably paid someone for it. And this one is my uh, pumpkin. It is a English ale. That I actually, um, I added a uh, real pumpkin to, and also some pumpkin spices. And bottle carbonated like all my other stuff, but this one, as you can see, I mean, perfect pour and holy shit, that smells good. The funny thing was, I was on a total pumpkin kick in, um... I was a total pumpkin kick in like October, and I told um, I told my wife I was like, you know, we we had re only recently moved into this house. I said, you know, I'm kind of tired. Uh, I really don't know if I want to brew something. And then like on Friday, the the Friday of this week when this happened, I said, you know what, I, I want to brew something this weekend. What should I brew? She's like, we we're drinking a bunch of pumpkin beer. And, you know, pumpkin beer's really starting to come out, so why don't you do that? You know, you'll cut down on it, on how much pumpkin beer you have to buy. So I was like, yeah, let's do it. So we made it, I put it together, and then fermentation took its normal time. But, you know, fermentating, bottle, by the time I was done with it, it was, you know, November. And at that point, you know, you've got October, Halloween, every day you're seeing pumpkin beers out. So you're like, I'm going to drink a pumpkin beer. So I bought a couple cases and went through those. By the time this is ready, I was like, I don't want, you know, fuck pumpkin. I don't want any more. I'm done. I'm absolutely done. So I let it sit for a little bit. And now I'm tapping back into it. And I've crushed it. I mean, I've absolutely decimated it. Because it was ready in November. And I would, you know, kill a six pack in a day or two and... You know, not want to touch it for a week or so, and then kill a six-pack. And not want to touch it for a little bit. But, as weird as it sounds, this might be something that I make, you know, once a quarter. Because, damn, that's good. And so, in the spirit of doing it a day early to just jumpstart the tradition, we haven't had it. 
here's a day early for Double Fist and Thursday. I'm so glad I made this. This peach IPA is money. It takes a little bit to calm down with the head, but once it does, carbonation is just right on. I mean, it is. It's just money. I, I can't say anything less. Um, if anybody wants the message, you can uh, PM or wants the recipe, just private message me, and I'll send it to you. Um, it's just a lot easier than putting in the description. Uh, cause I have, I write everything in a book, but I can, I also have it in Excel. So it's really easy to just drop in there and then send on, on its way. But, um, oh man. I can't remember what hops I put in there. I wrote it down. So don't worry when I send you the recipe, I, I know what they are. Just don't know right now, but there's just, just beautiful I mean, not to be weird, but I mean, it's a beautiful smell of definitely some, ci I mean, the citrus, but also, you know, there's like a flower, a very floral. That's, that's the word I'm looking for, but it's literally like a bouquet on your senses. I mean, it's awesome. I would put it right up on there, and I had a lot of beer uh, drinking friends who would agree that, you know, you could put right up on there with, um, with Dogfish's Apricot IPA. That's kind of what I was going for. Um, but yeah, wow. I mean, Clarity, I did not use any, um, I didn't use any Irish moss. I didn't use any Irish moss in any of my recipes until I did the red, which was my second to last brew. I've got a, um, Imperial IPA chilling in the fermenter. <sighs> Excuse me, it's got one more week to go. I've decided I'm going to let it sit a little more and let it clean out, um, there's no rush to get on it because it's an Imperial IPA and I have zero intentions of sharing it, so why rush? But, uh. Oh, fuck. Yeah. You know, I, I don't want to be a crybaby, but you know, when you have a bad day. There's just nothing better than having a nice cold beer. And that's what I used to always think. But there is something better. Having a nice cold homebrew in both hands makes it much better. Hmm. Now even though I want to start the double fisting, I think I'm going to stick with two, you know, two of the same kind of beer. Because... This is a little different than my IPA. It's a little, a little different. So those those flavors are not mending, or you know they're not they're not meshing. The, this one, I mean, look at that. I mean, that is just it's a nice. I don't know if the the light is showing it very well, but it's just a perfect brown, and it's almost clear on its own. And there's no Irish moss in there. So I mean, if I'd use some Irish moss, that would have been a an awesome beer. I mean, clarity, everything that you would want. In a beer right there. And then, you know, right here as well. I think I really hit it. And these are both original recipes. Came up from scratch. I mean, my wife was actually quite surprised with both. She was just like, wow, only if you could, you know, make up, basically pull recipes out of your ass for food, that'd be great. Because nine times out of ten, if I'm just winging recipes, it's dicey at best. And I'm actually a great cook, but it's, it's when I'm actually cooking and I have to pull stuff out of my ass... If it's like baking, I'm fucked. It's ruined. If I've got to put it in the oven, it's done. If I can't see it cook, done. And that's the funny thing with these. You know, I let it sit. You know, we let it sit in the mash tun for forever. Then, you know, we got to run it off. Then we got to boil it. I mean, this is really like bacon. There's a lot of st a little less similarities in making beer and baking. And, you know, I think it's hysterical that the majority of us men are not good bakers. I don't know. I wonder what's up with that. I think part of the reason that I'm such a good brewer is that I drink a lot when I brew. And I feel like a couple beers and my brain is just on all cylinders. I tried to tell that to my boss. He he didn't buy it. So, we'll see. But, I'm going to head back upstairs and uh, watch a little television. 
and probably, you know, hit the sack, but... And, uh, you know, enjoy your week, enjoy your homebrew, and for the love of God, please do not be rooting for those disgusting, disgusting, dirty Ravens this weekend. All right? Just remember, not only did Ray Lewis kill a man, but he was drinking deer antler spray and testicle juice. Just saying. Is that something you want to root for? Think about it, guys. Peace.